Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and today I will give you guys my prediction of the Super Bowl game between the Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. And by the way, this will be one of the most exciting games to see because, you know, last year the Seattle Seahawks won the Super Bowl and they won it real badly, by the way. You know, the Denver Broncos, they fucked it up. I don't know what the hell happened on the other side, but god damn it, Peyton Manning sucked that game. And then a few years ago, you know, we got the Patriots, another most exciting game to see, the Patriots versus the Giants. My New York Giants won the Super Bowl, and I was like, what the fuck, you know, for the second round, the Giants won the Super Bowl against the Patriots. I'm happy, guys, I'm happy, you know, and the Cowboy fans over there are still still bragging over there from the 1996 trophies and shit. I hate the Cowboys, but overall, the Giants are the best. Anyways, my point is, these two teams still have the same roster from those Super Bowl days. They kind of still have the same roster. I mean, the Patriots, they haven't lost that much. They still have the same receiving units. They, I know they lost Wes Walker, but at the same time, we got Amendola and Jordan Elliman that they, they kind of look the same. So, they haven't lost that much, you know. And then uh, from the Seattle Seahawks, you know, they lost some few receivers here and there, you know, Golden Tate and some other receivers. But they're still rolling with the same mojo. We haven't seen any loss from the Seattle Seahawks. They're still rolling with the same record. So, it's kind of weird to see that. So overall, it's the same team, kind of. So it's kind of like playing Madden right now. Imagine they actually put in the Hall of Fame teams at some point in fucking life, you know, Madden. Put in the goddamn Hall of Fame teams already. Jesus Christ. Anyways, yeah, it's like playing Madden and choosing the Hall of Fame teams. And you will choose the 2011 Patriots versus the 2014 Seahawks. And it's going to happen in real life. It's a fucking fantasy game happening in real life. So anyways, my point is, guys, uh, what is going to be my prediction? My prediction of the Seattle Seahawks versus the Patriots will be the Patriots will win the game. The score will be, the score will be 28-21. No field goals at some point. I don't think they're going to be any field goals, man. They're going to score straight into a touchdown. There's going to be like at least two touchdowns in the first quarter, and then the second quarter is going to be all dead. Everything's going to happen in the second half. It's going to be tied in the first half, I, I bet you that much. And um, the reason why I'm picking the Patriots, not because I hate the Seahawks, I'm picking the Patriots because I'm telling you, they have more experience on the Super Bowl than any other team in the NFL. And the Seattle Seahawks, you know, they're pretty newbies. They're pretty rookies out there in the Super Bowl. Yes, they do have some experience from last year, but can they bring in the Super Bowl? I don't think so. They, they're not going to bring it. Compared, compare this team, you know, to a sleeper team. It is pretty much a sleeper team. And what happened against the Packers, it was just pretty pretty much sad. The Russell Wilson threw like three picks and they still managed to win the game because they gave the ball to Marshall Lynch and that baited the defense in, which means you will be open enough for passing plays later on and it, that's what happened. But pulling that off again against the Patriots, that's not going to go easy. I mean, the Patriots, they're ready to go. They got the real Revis. They got Brandon Brown. They got Vince Wilfork in the middle. Do you think Marshall Lynch can take on Vince Wilford? Do you think your receivers that you currently have with the Seattle Seahawks can take on Brandon Browner and Darrell Revis? I don't think so. Right now, their only weapon on offense that the Seattle Seahawks have is Marshall Lynch. That's it. If they try to pass that Darrell Revis, man, I expect a pick from him this game. He's going to have one pick. So somehow, some way, they're going to have to work the trickery in the beginning if, if they want to win not late they have to do they have to pull it off in the beginning and then later on they'll, they might go with runs so anyways the key to winning uh the seattle seahawks the key to winning will be give the ball to marshall lynch because that's your only weapon in offense on defense you got to pressure tom brady if you've seen the, the the new york giants do that it worked perfectly on them I and mean, they had just in period paul they had justin tug they had michael strahan you know all these other years ago Pressuring Tom Brady and it worked for them. So if they were to pull off the same thing, it's gonna work for them. They're gonna win the game. But I don't think they're gonna do it. Because you know, they have all these guys, you know, the Legion of Boom, Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor, and Richard Sherman just standing back there with zone coverage. That's all that's gonna happen. They're just gonna sit back and wait for a pass, which is gonna be bad for them because you know the the Patriots have like Garrett Blunt. So moving on to the Patriots, their key to victory will be Mess around with that defense. You have like Garrett Blunt. You have Cyrus Gray. You have all these running backs. Use them. Trick them out. Do not go deep. Danny Amendola, Jordan Edelman are not that quick. So run in those slants. If Sherman goes man coverage, he's going to get his ass burned. 
So you know what to pull off. You got the receivers to pull it off, and that's what you're going to get them on that defense. That defense is going to suck ass. I bet you 100 bucks they're going to suck ass. Because they got all these possession receivers that are going to run down the middle. They can actually catch and run the routes. And that's why the Patriots are going to win the offensive side. On defense, all they have to do is just stop Marshall Lynch. Stop him. Those receivers are taken care of with Darrell Revis and Brandon Browner. So that's why the Patriots are going to win, guys. If you guys got any opinions about this game, let me know in the comment section. I would like to hear your opinions. So that's it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Madden.